hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i am going to be showing you how to install backbox os on your android device on this channel we post videos on linux tutorials ethical hacking you know how to basically do things on your android phone if you're interested in these topics please make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications to be notified whenever we upload a new video so without wasting much of your time let us get to the video all right welcome back guys as you already know we are going to be using tamox for this so if you're installing tamox for the first time it is going to install bootstrap packages so now once tamox is done installing bootstrap packages the first thing you're going to do is you're going to update your tamox repository now to update your tamox repository you're going to use the pkg update command now it is going to take a while for the updates to finish you're just going to you know you're going to be patient and wait for the installation to complete okay now after the update is complete the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install a package called peer registry now peer registry is the package we're going to be using to install you know to install our backbox os so to install peer registry you're going to use the command pkg install peer registry now peer registry can be used to install various linux os okay now after installing peer registry the next thing we're going to do is um we're going to edit the backbox and um, backbox os file okay so to do that we're going to go to the period distro directory in our tamox now to do that type the command cd dollar prefix then forward slash etc forward slash period distro all right period hyphen distro now click on enter and you should be in the period distro directory now if i type ls as you can see we have the alpine alpine sh which is for our linux Fedora, Opusius, Ubuntu, and so on. So you're going to type the command nano backbox.sh. Now, after typing that command, you're going to be pasting this in that, you know, in this nano editor. Now I'm going to be I'm going to be pasting these commands in the description. So make sure you check the commands from there and copy them. Okay. So now after copying, after um, you're done with that process, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to install Backbox OS. Now, to install Backbox OS, you're going to be using the command period distro install Backbox, okay? Period distro install Backbox. Now, as you already know, um, Backbox OS is, is, is an Ubuntu OS, okay? It was built based on Ubuntu, Ubuntu OS. It is just, you know, a little bit more powerful for ethical hacking than Ubuntu is. So to log into peer registry after the installation has finished, you're going to use the command peer registry login back box. All right. Login back box. Peer registry login back box. Now click on enter. And now you're inside your back box OS, you know, terminal, the CLI terminal. So, um, Type the command apt update and an apt dist upgrade to update and upgrade, you know, the repositories and the terminal of your backbox UX. All right, this I found upgrade. This I found upgrade. Now clear. Clear, clear. Now after updating, after you're done with that, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to install um the GUI package, of course, which is XFCE4, XFCE4 terminal, and so on. So the whisker menu plugin. I am going to be pasting all of these commands in the description below. Just go to the description, click on the link there. It is a link to my blog and um you're going to miss you're going to see the commands there in the blog all right so apt install xfc for xfc for whisker menu plugin xfc for terminal xfc for app menu plugin all right and um i think those are those are the important packages to install right and the boss of course the boss x11 so you're going to be using the command the boss i found x11 and um Backbox wallpapers, okay. 
bag box wallpapers and um you're going to use the if and y command to just automatically type yes and you're going to click on enter and then um, that command what that command is going to do is it is going to install every necessary packages you need to you know run the gui of um of your operating system now you're going to be required to enter the the country of your keyboard you know the country version of your keyboard so enter it according to your country okay so i'm just going to be fast and you know enter my country and skip this part okay english us english us english us and um, you're going to wait for the installation to complete now the installation has finished the next thing we're going to do now is um we are going to install backbox wallpapers all right now to install backbox wallpapers i created a repository where you know i just um, i uploaded some backbox os wallpapers there so cd into your user for slash a for slash backgrounds folder cd user for slash a for slash background and you're going to install git after installing git you're going to clone in the repository on github that i uploaded the back box wallpapers all right so to do that you're going to type the command apt install git which is the command that installed that installs git to your system and you're going to be using the command git clone https forward slash github.com forward slash bed in tech forward slash back box wallpaper i am going to be pasting this in the description also so you have nothing to worry about all right so now that you're done with that, you're going to cd into backbox wallpaper, okay? You're going to type the command cd backbox wallpaper. Backbox wallpaper. Backbox wallpaper. Now you're in the wallpaper folder and you're going to type ls. You're going to see a zip file inside that folder. Now you're going to unzip that zip file by using the command unzip backbox wallpapers.zip all right backbox wallpapers dot zip and that command is going to just you know unzip the the wallpaper and if you type ls again you're going to see the the unzipped wallpapers the png and the jpg file all right so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to be creating a shortcut command to you know log into our gui interface so that we can connect with our vnc application now to do that you're going to create a new connection to you're going to create a new terminal to your you know to tamox to tamox and you're going to install x11 repo you're going to install tiger vnc and you're going to be installing x server so to do that you're going to be using the command pkg install x11 repo x11 i find repo now x11 is the is the package that helps you connect with you know gui interface without x11 there is no gui interface on tamox all right now after typing that command you're going to you know type a semicolon and you're going to type the command pkg install tiger vnc then you're going to install the x server with the command x o r g i find s host all right x host and you're going to click on enter and that command you know is going to install the packages for you so just type yes which is why when prompted for download notification and that is it so we're going to clear now and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a shortcut command you know that just helps us connect to this vnc server you know the shortcut command i post connect to the vnc server easily okay so you're going to create that command with the command echo then vnc server that's geometry and you're going to be using the geometry according to the geometry of your you know your android phone mine is one six times seven hundred then you're going to type the command i found listing tcp then the ratio of your local host which is ratio one of course the default ratio is ratio one then you're going to type the command display is equal to ratio one x host plus to make this local server public to every other server connecting to the same host on your local host all right so exos plus then we're going to be saving this command in the dot dot forward slash user forward slash 
bin forward slash connect vnc okay we're going to name the folder connect vnc connect vnc i made a mistake there let me quickly correct that i'm going to be pasting all of this command in the description below so you don't have to worry about all of this all right just make sure that you watch and see so that you know you don't make mistakes when you're trying to to do yours and you understand what all of this is all right so i'm going to click on enter now enter and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to give it executable permission with the command ch mode plus x then the directory to the file okay so now that that has been done i'm going to create the server with by using the command connect vnc now you're going to be required to enter a password enter a password you can easily remember and click on enter and as you can see the vnc server has been created so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to switch back to my back box my back box terminal and i'm also going to create a shortcut command on back box that allows me to connect to that open local host that i just created so you're going to use the command echo display is equal to ratio one then what do we want to connect to ratio one our xfc egui so you're going to be using the command xfc e session all right and we're going to be saving this command in the forward slash user forward slash local forward slash um bin folder all right and we're going to name the command start server start server so you're going to click on enter now but before then xfc e4 section all right i made a mistake there xfc e4 session and then you're going to click on enter and i'm um, going to give it executable permission by using the command ch mode plus x ch mode plus x and of course you're going to click on enter so we're going to clear this now and um of course by typing the command start server it is going to connect us to the gui interface okay so start server we're going to wait for this to load and you're going to open your uh, your vnc application i use net on all right now to set up net on uh, net on your connection type must be ultra vnc by default it's, it used to be in basic vnc make sure you change it to ultra vnc and then in the password section you're going to type the password you created earlier okay the password i asked you to create and you know remember so i used one two three four five six which is an easy password to remember and the local host as you can see local host one then you're going to click on connect and this is what your gui interface should look like for the very first time you're connecting so um you're going to right click and click on desktop setting all right right click on your terminal and click on desktop setting now we're going to be changing the background wallpaper of this um of this gui so click on under click on others click on others and um of course it is in the background folder remember we we saved the back box wallpaper in the background folder so you're just going to click on open after locating that folder and these two wallpapers should open so you can use any wallpaper of your choice anyone you like but i prefer the other back box wallpaper so i'm just going to use that one and um cancel so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to do um i'm going to make a little bit of changes okay to the panel to the panel settings all right so panel one i'm going to go to items now items items and um okay in the action button i'm going to edit the action button later but the very first thing i want to remove is the separator okay so i'm going to remove no no i want to remove the workspace switcher all right so i'm going to remove that i don't need it okay i'm going to remove the workspace switcher and um i'm going to remove the 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 the, the pulse audio plugin i'm going to remove that also remove and then i'm going to edit the action buttons action button and um you're going to go to appearance and change it to action button right there action button and um, i'm going to just unmark all of this unmark unmark 
going to have more color of this. Mark. And I'm the only thing I'm not going to unmark there is the logout button, all right? Which is the only button that actually you know, really makes sense. So I'm just going to leave that there. I'm going to leave it at that, okay? And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, the app menu plugin to the terminal. So I'm going to add app menu plugin. So not application menu. I'm going to type that app yeah there it is app menu plugin so you're going to click on that and you're going to click on add and as you can see you should add that to our you know to our panel so i'm going to shift this to the second position now app menu plugin I'm going to move it to the top. Yeah, that is exactly how I want it to be. And the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to remove the Windows button. Window button. I'm going to remove that also. Remove. Remove. Yeah, exactly. So I'm cool with the, the terminal this way. So this is how you, you know, basically install Backbox OS on your... This is how you install Backbox OS on your Android phone, all right? So you can, of course, always open your terminal and use it from there. And um, that is basically it. That is how you install Backbox OS on your wallpaper. So I hope you found this video helpful if you did. Make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. So now I'm going to just off the VNC connection, which is extremely important. Every time you finish um, working with your operating system, make sure you kill the VNC connection. Now to kill it, you're going to be using the command VNC server I found Q. And what are we killing? The ratio one, of course. So you're going to kill that. And that is it. Thanks for watching.